Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here and welcome to another video and you've guessed it guys, it's a specky video. Um, as I've been threatening and hinting in previous videos that I really need to get back onto the spectrum and it's not fair on the specky really, I absolutely love the spectrum, you guys know that it was my first ever um, home computer, the first real experiences in the home that I had with computer games and it's where my passion has begun and uh, yeah it's kind of taken a back seat but that's because of some of the big purchases. I've been really focused on the Coleco, we've got the Video Master, I've been really focusing on trying to get down the number of PAL Mega Drive games. There's so much to focus on and it's a bit unfair on the specy. Um, some absolutely amazing YouTubers, generous guys, have um, gifted me some specky games. So there's going to be videos there. Um, I've also picked up some really nice accessories and stuff for the Spectrum, which I really want to show those off. But what's really sparked this video is a game that arrived two days ago. And unfortunately, I've been really busy this week. I was absolutely, it's been on my mind. With all the jobs I've had to get done, I've just been like, my God, I've got to do a video. A kind of unboxing and first impressions of this game. And um, I've got to give a huge shout out to Cy Owen, Ginger Hippie Gamer, um, for pointing me in the right direction for this. We often talk on Facebook Messenger about the homebrew scene and a lot of these games that are still being released on the good old faithful 8-bit micros and I know he has a major passion for these and you know I always miss them sometimes you miss these games I can remember missing Castlevania uh, a couple of years back and I know it's um you can buy it again now which I probably will invest in that um, but when I heard this company was releasing this game and as soon as Cy told me I was in there like a shot on the website, ordered the game. There's a bit of kerfuffle the following day with an email stating that the shipping hadn't been included. So I, I updated that, paid the shipping. It wasn't a cheap game for a specy game, um, but I think it's going to be worth it, guys. I really do. And um, yeah, I kind of forgot about it. With all what's been going on, it slipped my mind until this dropped through the letterbox. And let's stop waffling, guys. Let's get straight onto it. And we've got Mighty Fight. And for those of you that know, this is actually um, Mighty Final Fight on the NES, which was like a cutesy version of Final Fight. An absolutely fantastic NES game. Um, quite a hard one to get hold of, I believe. Especially, well, isn't any NES game hard to get? Box complete and mint, I suppose, these days. But look at that, guys. This has come straight out of the jiffy bag like this. And this is done by Bum Fun Software. Bizarre name, but I'm sure there's a story behind that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to unseal this on camera, guys. And first impressions. Lovely cellophane there. We'll just bung that on the floor. And then we've got, I like that little touch. The little spine card there. A rather fetching image. <laughs> and there we go, guys. And there is Not So Fast Mike, turn on your TV. And this is number 16. This is a limited run. I'm not sure how many there is now. I can't remember. Mighty Fight Limited Collector's Edition. I know you can download this game. But it's really nice to have a brand new Specky game, and wow. Oh, wow, guys, look at that. So there's the slip cover, really nice. Oh, a brand new Specky game. Really like that um, box art, I really do. Mighty Fight, limited edition, rewind, bum fun software. Lovely red cassette. Oh, and look at that. A lovely pinky red cassette tape in there, guys. Side A. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I'm over the moon with this. 
absolutely glorious. And you've got your instructions on the inlay there. Really nice quality, this. Absolutely glorious. So you know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to load it. Oh, yeah, we are. So, sorry, Dave. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to sit here waffling and make you wait through this. I'd imagine this is probably going to be a long load. Let's just make sure it's all going on. Oh, look at that. That really is absolutely lovely. MFF, Mighty Final Fight. And we're underway, guys. Let's just see if there's a loading screen. Remember, I can't remember the YouTuber it was and that showcased this with another, um, a couple of other really good sort of modern specy games. And uh, I had heard of the other two and I was blown away to see that um, Mighty Fight was, um, was even a game. You know, I was absolutely made up. Um, game code by Sanchez Ake Alexander Odotov. Loading screen and graphics by Eugene Rowland. Music by Nick O. Physical release and inlay by www.bumfungaming.com. There we go, guys. The mighty final fight. And as you know, I absolutely love. A side scroll and beater. Is this going to compare to the Mighty Renegade and Target Renegade? You know, they're two fantastic games on the Specky. We're going to find out, guys. Join me in a while. I'll zoom this in so you've got a better, a better look at the screen. In a mo, guys. Here we go, guys. I've been asked to stop the tape. And here we have the awesome Mighty Final Fight kind of loading intro screen here. Love the animations, the flicker of the light, the details of the water, the punk dude under that lamppost moving his head. That's fantastic. That's really, really lovely little touch. So let's see what we've got. We've got settings. So we want Kempston on, music on, sounds on, then H to return, then we've got intro, Let's see what this is about guys. This is Metro City, within the walls of the city lives the mayor's daughter, Jessica. Her beauty radiates throughout the city and gives citizens the power to survive, but now a villain attempts to have this beacon of light, all for himself. Ooh. Absolutely fantastic music, guys. I can't believe that I've actually fallen in love with the girl. <laughs> she will be mine. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that, guys. What have you done to her, Cody? Me? This is the work of the Mad Gear Gang. Let's go. That's fantastic, guys. Wow. I'm loving that. Right, so let's go to play select your player so we can be Cody guy or Hagger let's go for Cody press enter or H for return so tutorial hi let's train press fire to continue press and hold fire to beat an enemy
cool. To finish jump kick, press and hold fire plus up. Ah. I did wonder how they were going to do the control mechanics for this game because it's only, you know, the spec is one button to jump side kick, press fire plus up plus right. So hold up and then right. Oh, that, that works. That does really work, guys. To grab an enemy, just go to him. To beat, grabbed enemy, press fire. To throw enemy, hold fire and press left. very clever I like it just go to the weapon to take it press fire to throw weapon press right right fire it's so responsive guys you know these these maneuvers are uh, working first time I missed what that said there. If Rage is in Magnetozone, you can do uppercut. Press and hold fire plus down. If Rage is in Red Zone, you can do Twist Strike. Press fire. If Rage is in yellow zone, you can do Super Strike. Press left, right, fire. Oh, wow! <laughs> this is really good, guys. If Rage is in white zone, you can refill Half-Life. Press down, down, up, up, fire. Down, down, up, up, fire. This is the first one that hasn't worked. Down, down, up, up, fire. Up, there you go. Well done. Now you are ready. Start tape and don't touch keys. So we've got some loading guys. I'll be straight back once this is loaded in. And we're back guys. Here's the map. Stop the tape and press any key. I've got to try and remember all, um, all of that tutorial now. Ha ha ha. Moves absolutely brilliant. First man down, oh here we go, we're getting some more now. Oh trying to grab hold of one of them. Oh here we go. It's gonna take a few goes I think to remember. <laughs> Oh, for, oh, look at that detail, that little mouse. The graphics are absolutely amazing. They really are good. Who would have thought it in 2020? Be this excited about a physical release on the Spectrum and it plays this well. You know, we had Castlevania a few years ago now, but this really is. Stunning. Tried to go for the little dragon punch there. Oh. <laughs> Ah! 
little eyes there, poking through the holes. I love it. Little flies over the dustbins there, or the, the trash. Oh. It really does play like a NES game, it really does. This, this is really good. Careful guys, gonna lose your life. trying so hard to not die but the music the, the graphics it's got that specky charm as well oh here we go we lost our our life there guys it's game over but wow i am really impressed with this game let's have another quick go Sneaky punch he got in there. Let's see if we can get a little bit further this go. So fluid. It controls really well and it's a very different playing game to Renegade. Plays a lot more like a console game. It really does. I like it, like a NES game. This guy's um, kick him ass. Oh, I missed him. I'm really going to get stuck into this game. It's, it's brilliant. Let's see if I can grab hold of him. Throw him. Mm. They're very quick. Ha ha ha. Oh, took me clean out there. This is, this is really, really good, guys. That's all I can say. That's all I keep saying, but it is really impressive. Um, my mind is blown. Yeah, for those of you that ain't grown up with a, with a Spectrum will probably be like, what on earth? Why is, why is he getting so excited about this? But this is amazing, guys. It really is. These guys are so talented. What they're doing with the limitations of the Spectrum is just... Phenomenal, guys. It really is. I wish I could remember some of the other news, but I can't, I'm afraid. With old age... The memory's not as good. It took a little time for this to load in from the tutorial and I've forgotten half of the moves. <laughs> I'm sure we've practiced though, guys. 
I just can't believe how much is going on and, and the great, the colours are great. You know, we're talking from a specky point of view here. They are fantastic. These guys have a lot more. Oh. Ah, I keep missing them with that dragon punch. Oh, going into that building onto the rooftops. So we're getting to see a bit of a change of scenery. Let me know in comments, guys. Have you got this game? What do you think of it? Have you got the original NES game? I'd love to know what your guys' views are on this. I have played it on a dodgy clone console. I've never played the original original NES cart of this. It was on a dodgy clone console, like a Fami clone that I've played this game on. Have you got this, guys? Let me know. I want to know if you've got this. Planning on getting it. Yes, we've got to throw him. Yes, straight down the hole. Off the side of the building. Oh no, but don't you do that to me. Bars of energy left, guys. We've got barrels rolling at us now. Oh, we're going to die. And there we go, guys. That's game over. And there's a quick look at, at Mighty Final Fight. Mighty Fight. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Get over to Bum Fun Software. Get yourself this game. It really is good. Oh, it's letting us start back on the rooftops. Um, but yeah, guys, go get over to Bum Fun Software. Go and order this. There's loads of games on there. And this is the first game I've ordered from the site. I'm going to be getting loads more. So many interesting looking games. And I'm sure there'll be future videos on some of these releases. I love to have a physical release. It's absolutely fantastic, guys. Um, and I'm now going to play some more <laughs> Mighty Final Fight on the Specky. Maybe do a future video when I get to grips with it. Until the next time, guys, I'm Sega Zombie. Goodbye.